Sorry about that. Obviously, I cannot sing opera to save my life, nor could I produce one. It's a big deal. My name's Derek Lampson. I'm a singer-songwriter. I can do a lot of things with a guitar and a solar voice, but I sure can't make an opera. It's not a one-man project, but I can make a really cool graphic novel about a man who wants to make an opera. And that's what we're doing here today. We wanted to share some information about Mark V, the opera, the graphic novel, which I started in 2019 and completed as a script a year later. And we finally found the artist. It is Mr. John Williams. And we are so delighted. So here's our cover, Mark V, the opera, and it tells you a whole lot. Uh, for one thing, it tells you that you're on stage. Look at the lighting. Look at the curtains. This is Bel Canto on stage, Mark V, the opera. And what's it about? It's the story of the Gadarene demoniac, that classic Bible story of schizophrenia, alienation, occupation, substance abuse, homelessness. That's the Gadarene demoniac and redemption. Don't forget that. It's a story of redemption. So here we go. Here's our cover, Mark, Mark V, the opera. What happens next? My gosh, it's a man on a bicycle, and he looks a lot like me, frankly. And he is wandering through a neighborhood of Eugene that should be recognizable to anybody that knows and loves this town, the Whit, the Whitaker neighborhood. That looks like the Wandering Goat Coffee House, and in the background on the box card says, Mark V, the opera, Act One. So here's this guy, and he's going to the coffee house, and he meets another guy. And they say, hey, pops, hey, son, have a cup of coffee. And the dad starts talking. He says, <clears throat> really, he looks and acts quite a bit like me. He says, I worry about going a little crazy. I mean, not worry, really, but I get so juiced by being around people I like that I get really high and talk a lot and laugh really loud. Sometimes I see this thought balloon up over their head like, I wonder if he's okay. And so I sort of try and dial it back. Also, he says, I seem to go in waves and cycles, peaks and troughs, high energy and not so much. In fact, he looks a little loony. Then he calms down and he says, right now, I'm just really jazzed about the absolutely nonsensical idea of producing Mark V, the Gadarene swine story, as an opera. Huh. So they're out and they're biking around the Whit. You can see the Skinner Butte columnar basalt there in the background. The dad's still talking. He says, so all right. He says, I'm biking around doing my first summer back in beautiful Blue Jean, Oregon in 39 years. And this thing is going on in my head, you understand. And it's the Gadarene swine story from the book of Mark, of all things, you know, like in the Bible. And there's this, this like a real set piece. It's like a scene from an opera, right? In the middle of the story. And it's just got me going. It's like I can see it on stage. And you see the folks going upstairs at the Hulk and getting settled, finding their seats. And here's the orchestra warming up. They look like they're about ready to go. And here we are. What happens next? Oh my gosh, we're at the opera. And it's the part of the opera where the Gadarene demoniac sings this gorgeous baritone solo. And he's climbing a pile of rocks and tombstones and skulls in the middle of the stage all the way up to the top, singing. And lately, in my mind's eye, where all of this is taking place, lately, I see more demon shapes crowding in. I see the demons of addiction. Homelessness, racism, white supremacy, greed, climate crisis, patriarchy, and war. And then, this last shot, I asked John for this. I said, I think it's important to this that you see him struggling to put on the Roman helmet, and it's too tight. He said, but I need to see it. John picked right up on that. Keep watching for that Roman helmet. It's all over this. 
So then we're still at the opera, or the fantasy of the opera, and the guy is still singing, and just like in the Bible story, he cuts himself with stones, cries out, sings, finishes his song in passion and despair. Curtain, act one, the opening night crowd is just simply stunned. Then they start plotting, which makes a nice fantasy. Then they start applauding. <laughs> and right after that, He's still out biking around, and it looks like he's just gone to see his doctor. Now, what kind of doctor? We don't know. But he's still telling his story. The doctor's trying to close the door on him, and he's trying to tell his story. He's saying, so, of course, then Jesus showed up in the boat from across the Sea of Galilee and confronted the demons. And the doctor says, next week, Mr. Lampson. But he can't stop talking. He goes next door to Kesey Square. And there are the tourists trying to eat their voodoo donuts, and he's still talking. He says, he demanded the demons say their name, and they say, Legion, for we are many. He's back in his fantasy here. And look at this guy. And where's that Roman helmet? There's his manacles. And the demons begged Jesus to let them go into the pigs, and so he did. But the pigs ran into the ocean and drowned, and then the local people said to Jesus, just leave. And the guy who's okay now, he says, take me with you. And Jesus says, no, go home and tell everyone what God has done for you. So it's the end of the opera, right? And there's a song right there at the end. It's like a very sweet ballad, very sad, very pretty. Maybe a duet. It's Jesus and the Gadarene demoniac now healed up and I can almost hear it. Or my narrator, rather, can almost hear it. And he says, it's not an opera, of course. It never will be, probably. I couldn't make an opera to save my life. But it is my song, and it is my story. And that's the truth. And that's why I care about doing this. Okay, so that's our sample. It's the cover in the first seven pages of Mark V, The Opera, and I came on TV to show this to you, came on camera to show this to you, because I want to ask for your help. First of all, thanks for the help. We came up with a $3,500 ask to help us finish Act One, which is 46 pages. We were halfway through. We wanted to get through it. People came through with $1,500 between the first week of August and the third week of August. I think that's huge. So thank you. Um, and there's more to go. So we wanted to show it to you because here's the funny part. I think the people gave, many of them, without even knowing really what it was about. They know me a little. They know Derek. And so they took a flyer. This is what it's about. So we thank you for your help. We ask you for your continued help please head on over to DerekLampson.org, learn a little more about this, or look anywhere on this site for the donate button. Everything helps. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye.